Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing North Atlantic. And we are here with our new boat, the Wanderlust. I believe the actual type is the Ocean Runner type of uh, boat. And this particular boat I just purchased, and it has all kinds of capabilities. It's got long line fishing, deep line fishing, lobster fishing, and net fishing. And from what I understand, when you first get into this game, this is the boat that can basically make you some serious money early on to get you to the much bigger boats. So we're going to find out if that is all true. We're going to start off with long line fishing. Since that is the first in the list, that's really about the only reason. And I've already got everything geared up. I really kind of started off modestly because I haven't done this. This is going to be basically going through the tutorial. All right, let's take a look at our stats here. So far, I mean, we basically, we do have the thing rigged for long line fishing. Everything has been set up so that we have basically enough long lines, but I really didn't go overboard. So if you look here, I've got Six of them set up with 250 hooks. I've got shrimp, krill, mackerel. I kind of mix things up and crab. That does go for different things. Just wanted to see how it worked this first time. I've already got myself um, another crew member. I hired a uh, Pearl Maryland. Now she is really good with the pot baiting and setting. So I'm going to need her in the future, especially when I do the lobster and the crabs. Everything else, she's about in the mid range. So I think these two crew members are going to be very helpful in everything we need to do to start off with. Now, let me go ahead and get back here. I did check the bar. I think they did give us a tip. Might as well get these other tips. Macro. See, now these we can use these tips. The swordfish one, that's not going to really help us much. We're not deep lining it, so since we're doing long lines, the macro, that's going to be helpful. And as far as maintenance, everything needs a little bit of fuel. It's undamaged. Just making sure everything is on the up and up. We still have $111,000. So we're not doing too bad. I don't know if we should... Let's go ahead and purchase autopilot just to make sure we're good there. Let's see, storage... We're already up we up the storage. Up the radar. Now we have autopilot. Fish sonar, I upped it to level four, not to level five. I got the best. I don't know if I need to get the best boy. I'm gonna go ahead and get the best boys. And for Gutting, I've got a gutting table. We're going to take a look at that when we get to this. I think that's always interesting. Don't really think we need to... Th that could be actually useful. The side thrusters. Let's add that to the basket, guys. Might cost us a little, but it's going to give us more maneuverability. All right, we're going to go ahead and start the tutorial. We're going to make our way to the marked area. So that means we need to back up out of here. I already did a tour of the boat, so we don't have to do that now. I don't know how fast this boat is, how well it drives or anything, but we're going to see. 
this is kind of a major boat, honestly. It's not like a... All those super commercial fishing vessels, but... Like the North Star there, but... It's definitely more than that one over there is. Well, we're too fast. Yeah, they will find you. Don't doubt that they will. Alright, while we're traveling here, we're going to look at the map. There's a, supposed to be a place marked on the map. Let's see, where is it? Here it is. Okay. Way over here. Well, I'll tell you what. We can fast travel. And that should help us considerably. Let's fast travel to Seal Island. That'll get us there. Pretty close. Hmm. Nice rainy weather. We're here at Seal Island, so we need to head north. Cannot cross land. Okay. There we go. Looks like there's other boats already settled in there. Okay, we need to make our way to that marked area, so... Honestly, guys, I have no idea what's going to happen here. <laughs> Just hoping that it tells me what to do. Not the fastest boat, but it didn't use nearly the amount of gas that the other boat did, so that's good. Let's see if we can't speed this up just a little bit. There we go. All right, now we're talking. Looks like we got another boat over there already. That looks like the last boat I had. Now you still have these boats and you can take the boats that you have purchased out at any time. You basically can switch back and forth if you so desire. Some boats have different capabilities that the others don't have. All right, tutorial long line. Now that you reach the marked area, it's time to set your first long line. All right. Let me go ahead and stop the boat. First person perspective here. Move to the work deck and pick up a line bucket. Okay. This is a nice boat. Line bucket. Where would those be? Not here. Right here? Okay. So we grab that. Prepare the 250 hook long line bay with shrimp for setting. Alright. This is interact with the line setter. And there it goes. Wait for the line drop to finish. Looks like the boat kind of automatically pulls ahead, which is, I guess, good. Now that you set your first long line, you'll need to wait a minimum of four hours before you can pick it up. So in this, this particular type of fishing, you need to kind of stick around. Let's see, for purpose of this tutorial, the time will be skipped forward 20 hours. Okay. 
20 hours is the optimum time of long line. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Should stay in the sea. You should see this by looking at the outline color of the boy on the map. The best time to pick up the line for the best yield is when the outline is blue. See the wiki for more details. All right. Now you need to haul the long line. In order to haul in the long line, you need to position a boat such that both of the boys are starboard, the right side of the boat. And at least one of the boys is at a few meters of the line hauler. Okay. A semicircular region is pretty much like the other one, so we need to get over here, drive the boat, because we're just kind of moving aimlessly here. Need to turn this sucker around. Okay, there it is. Damn, that boat's still hanging out. Okay, let's take the speed down just a little bit. Now hold on just a second. We probably are going to need somebody out from our crew. Now let's see. I'm going to set... Okay, we don't have a machine gutting operation here going on. So we're going to put Sadie here at the long line hull. I'm going to go ahead and do the hand gutting, I guess. So we'll just put Pearl... We'll let her prepare the gear. Okay, we got everybody working. Alright, there's the semicircle. We need to make sure that the boy is in that semicircle. It's not always easy to do, but luckily the sea isn't too rough today. When it turns green, that's when you do it. When hauling in a long line, you have time your you have to time your mouse click when you collect each fish. The smaller the circle is, the better you perform and the better your haul will be. Okay, indicated colors. Red is missed, yellow is okay, low result, green is good, medium result, blue is perfect, best result. Okay, looks like they're doing it. Well, that's not really the way I wanted to do it, but we'll let her do it. Let's go watch her. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and we got quite a few fish. Yeah, Sadie's been a really good crew member for me. Gonna be paying her well. Now this has 250 hooks. Apparently they can go up to a thousand. And my understanding is you can carry up to like 40 of those suckers. Of course you're gonna have to have your storage hole quite large to get to that point but we're just gonna let her do it this time the next time I'm gonna do it we'll let her do something else or rest or something we'll let Pearl set out the next long line actually we'll let Pearl set out the rest of the long lines Looks like we did pretty good. Eh, looks like she missed that one. Yeah, that's when, you know, it's kind of why I'd rather do it. Alright, 
Okay, now you need to get the fish. Alright, how do I do that? Move to the getting table. Where's the getting table? Getting table. Is this it? Yep. Oh, this is always tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Left mouse and start getting. Release left. Okay, to complete. Chris, start to begin. Okay, try to keep the knife over the marked path to maximum the getting quality of the fish. Start. Okay. Ooh, not bad for the first time. Looks like I retained quite a bit of my skills from Fishing Baron C. Whoop. Almost perfect. Of course, the sea's rather still today. There's a red fish. And each one of these fish are different. I think that was kind of a lousy one. Good job collecting the first long line. A mission waypoint has been set on your map to another long line that's been out for a number of hours already. Hurry and haul, on, haul in this long line before too much time passes. A long line must be picked up before 48 hours have elapsed, or else the line will be lost. The color of the boys on the minimap indicate the amount of time they've been out for. That is a very bad use of grammar. <laughs> Blue is best result, green is medium result, yellow low result, red very low result. Alright, let's see what we can do about our crew here. Yeah, I'm not as fond of the gutting. That's not my best skill. Now let's see. Let's see. Pearls... <laughs> Where's Pearl's gutting abilities? Doesn't really say. Cooking. Oh, hand gutting. It's not bad. Sadie's is a little bit better than Pearl's, I think. No, they're about the same. They're about the same. Alright, let's leave Pearl there and let's put Sadie down to gutting here. Alright. Let's get her preparing. And I'll do the long line hauling this next time. Because I want to get a chance to try that. Now let me see the map here. There's one. Ooh, we've already got some long lines out. Not bad. Didn't even do that. <laughs> Alright, let's go see what we can do by getting closer, though. too close. Okay, there they are. I could have got us a little closer. <laughs> and we'll get there. Actually, since she's not really doing anything at the moment, I want to go ahead and put her to rest. Same with Sadie. It's, I'm kind of doing this on my own this time. Don't want to overwork them.
It'll be a lot more productive if they're rested. Okay, we're getting the semicircle ready. Okay, here we go. Let's take it easy, take it easy. Well, maybe we can get the other one. I don't know. Well, shoot. I'm having a heck of a time getting near these. swing this thing around. This is not an easy bolt to maneuver. The other bolt was much much easier to maneuver. sure looked like it was right where it should be. Alright, there we go. I think we got it lined up this time. Finally. Up, oh, missed. Damn it. Okay, there we go. I had to give it my first try there. Good. Okay. Eh. I think Sadie did better than I did. Perfect. Now we're talking. I'm getting good most of the time. That's three perfects. Four perfects. Five. Only missed one. Yeah, I don't want to do the gutting, honestly. Let's go ahead and put Sadie over here at the gutting table. And we're going to put her at preparing the gear. She'll go ahead and set out that one, so we'll come back and get that later. I thought there was another one out here, but maybe not. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and set out a few of them. Let's go ahead and stop the boat here, because apparently it's taking a little bit of time for her to get it prepared. I'm not sure why, but... Okay, let's go ahead and move Sadie back here. So that I can complete them. I'll put her on repairs. She's still... Alright, it's going to make me hand-gut some of them anyway. 
we'll go ahead and start. Looks like we've gutted 4,000 pounds of fish already. Well, this is a lot easier than it was to do in the other game. Whoop. It's 5,000 pounds. Congratulations on hauling in your second long line. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get driving again. Let's see. Oh, yeah. We can set another one. She got it ready finally. get out of ways we'll set out another one all right guys I'm gonna go ahead and continue on once we get these picked up because we've kind of basically seen the basis of this we're gonna continue the uh, tutorial after we've collected the other long lines head back to port and see what happens at that point. Alright guys, we are back and it has been about the amount of time we need. Looks like they're all looks like they're all blue and in a line. So there's five of them that should be more than enough to collect. So let's go ahead and get driving. Yes, I am going to be doing the actual collection of the fish once my crew has gotten their skills up, which they do build their skills as they go. I can let them do it on their own. It'll be a lot faster, and all I have to do is the driving. But right now, it's probably best to let them do things like the hand gutting and stuff like that. Now, they've been resting, so... I'm not going to need them to do anything for the moment. I think I'm going to have Pearl do the gutting this time because she needs to build up her skills. We'll get this first long line. Alright, let's see here. Perfect. There's 15 of them, so there's quite a bit of fish here. Ah! That was lousy. There's a red fish. That's good. Perfect. Good. Yeah, you want at least good. Perfect is... Ah, okay is heh, heh. There we go. Damn. It's not easy to get perfect. It is possible, as you can see. There's a red fish. Damn. Oh, that was about as close as you can get to having. There's a perfect. Well, wasn't too bad. I got only one okay. Didn't miss any, so that's not too bad. 
right, let's head on to the next one. Let's go ahead and put Pearl out here to do some hand gutting. Too bad you can't have two people hand gutting at the same time, but I'll put Sadie out here to cook. I don't know why you need them to somebody to cook, but let's just do it anyway just in case. It probably builds their skills. It's important to have skills. Alright, there's another one. Perfect. That was a red fish. Ah, good. Another red fish. Yeah, I think they're worth quite a bit right now. The more of these perfect ones I can get, the better. Ah, okay. There's a lot of redfish in this hall. Ah, damn. That was really close to perfect. That was perfect. Getting better. Ah, damn. That was close. Well, that wasn't too bad. I got a lot of perfects out of that one. What we'll do is we'll let... See, this has got like a little bar. I'm going to let it fill up. Once it fills up, I'm going to stick her into... I guess I'll have her switch with Pearl for hand gutting. I'll probably end up having to hand gut some of them myself too. Can't expect the crew to do all the work. She's busy. There's another one. Ah, that's good. What? I wish I could tell which... I mean, the red ones are obvious, but... I'm going to have to look at the picture because I'm not 100% certain which fish is which. Damn it. Got a lot more of those in this haul. I didn't see any redfish so far. Didn't get 15 of them, so that means we missed a few. Ah! Alright, well I'm going to go ahead and collect the next one, and then I'll bring you back, and then I guess we'll see if we need to rotate the crew around or myself or what in order to do the gutting. 
I'll be back. Alright guys, I am back. We managed to pick up the rest of the fish and the lines. It looks like we've got just a little over 16,000 pounds of fish. A lot of gutting needs to be happening, so I've got Sadie working on it now. And I've got uh, Pearl resting. Well, actually, she's repairing at the moment. Let me go ahead and put her resting. That way she'll be able to... She'll be able to have been rested. She'll be able to have been rested and be able to start gutting too. And whatever they can't get done, I guess I'll have to get finished. But let's go ahead and see what we can do about getting back to port. So I have to go to the location marked on the map. Okay, so I have to come over here. Not a big deal. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of our fast traveling here. This will also give us a little time to get them their skills built up. Let's see. She's been hand gutting for a while. Let's put her resting. Put her back to hand gut her back to hand gutting. Now we can fast travel there. All right. She's still doing pretty good. And she's darn near rested. So that works out really well. How much of the gutting needs to be done? Let me go ahead and take her out of it. Put her rest. I will go to first person. See if there's any gutting left to be done. Okay, yep, there's quite a bit. Not enough time to get it all done with the crew members. So I'm going to have to do this myself. Getting at least four stars, sometimes five. There's five. It's pretty darn good. Ah, oh, that. Well, I had to say something. <laughs> well, this is a skinnier fish. Okay, that's. Well, it looks like we have got all the fish gutted. Now we need to deliver everything to port. So let's go ahead and go to the port they told us to. Oh, they're not going to let me fast travel, are they? Yeah, they are. Okay. Sometimes that... Congratulations, you've successfully completed the long line tutorial. Well, we are here. Dock at Lockport. Let's see what we can get for the fish. Kind of curious. Oh, not as much as I thought. I guess the swordfish and the other fish are a lot, bring a lot better price. But we looks like okay. We got silver hake, redfish, pollock, and haddock. All right, guys. After selling off the fish, we ended up getting only about thirty-eight thousand, which wasn't a terrible amount. But it wasn't a great amount either. But I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that I only had six long lines. And they were only 250 hooks for each. I think what we need to do, guys, we need to go in and we need to upgrade our gear here. Well, let's see if we can sell these. Let's buy some bigger ones. 
Oh gosh, goes up to 5,000 hooks. I think we've done all that we can do, and we have got a bunch of bait set out. We should be good to go. Well, I think what I'm going to be doing is doing some long line fishing, guys. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Fishing North Atlantic. I think maybe next time we're going to do the long line fishing at this level, or maybe a level above it. And I think we might try our hand at some crab fishing or net fishing. And eh, maybe net fishing. Crab fishing I'm going to leave for last. Anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>